Hello everyone, how are you? Fine, right? In this video, we are going to learn about speed. What is speed? We can understand speed with this example. Suppose you and your friend started walking together to school. Your friend reaches first. What it means? It means that he has taken less time to travel the same distance. So, we will say that speed of your friend is higher than you. So, we can say speed is a distance travel in a given time. SI unit of speed is meter per second. SI means standard international unit which is accepted everywhere. So, SI unit of speed is meter per second. Next is how can we measure speed? To measure speed, we need two quantities. First, distance traveled and second, time taken. Next, we will learn about average speed. What is average speed? We will learn this with the help of this example. Suppose you are going to beach in a car. You, you know that there will be a red light, there will be a, a open area. So, Somewhere you need to apply a brake and somewhere you will apply accelerator. So, speed of the car will not be same everywhere. It will be changing. It will change. So, average speed is total distance traveled by total time taken. Speed is the quantity that tells us how fast something is moving. Road traffic must obey the speed limit. For the safety of everyone. Drivers on the motorway must obey the limit. The sign in the photograph shows that the speed limit is 130 km per hour in dry weather. Can you tell me what is the speed in wet weather? There are many instruments used to measure speed. This is speedometer of a car. Speedometer is an instrument used to measure speed. As you can see, it is recording small changes in speed also. Sometimes speed is increasing, sometimes speed is decreasing. This is speed camera. Speed camera detects any cars or any vehicles that are traveling faster than the allowed speed and photograph them. Now we are going to learn how to calculate speed. This is the formula for speed that is speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken. Now through this question we are going to understand how to utilize this formula to solve any Question. Question is, a car travels 200 meter in 25 seconds. What is its speed? So, we will write the formula for speed. Speed is equal to distance by time. Distance given in question is 200 meter and time taken is 25 seconds. So, now it will go 8 times. So, speed of the car is 8 meter per second. Meter per second is SI unit of speed. This is another question to calculate speed. Actually, in this question, we are going to do a comparison. Question is, a red car travels 400 meter in 20 seconds. A blue car travels 660 meter in 30 seconds. Which car has the greater speed? So, here we have to compare the speed between red and blue car. So, first we will calculate speed of red car. We will do that. Speed of red car is equal to, again the formula is distance by time. So, distance is 400 meter and time is 20 second. So, 20 Speed of red car is 20 meter per second. 
Now we'll calculate the speed of blue car. Blue car. Again, formula distance by time that is 660 meter by 30 second. So 22. So the speed of blue car is 22 meter per second. So when we compare the speed of blue and red, we can see that blue car is having higher speed than red car. After watching this video, you should be able to answer these questions. First, what is speed? What are the quantities required for its calculation? Second question, what is the SI unit of speed? Name the instrument used to measure speed. Third question is, what will be the speed of a car when it travels 10 meter in 0.42 seconds? Answer this question also. This is the fourth question.